So, okay, here is my first video of me throwing on the wheel. Um, I use Audrey, Porce, Audrey Blackman porcelain. This is a lump of about a pound. Um, 500 grams for the newbies out there. Personally, I still use pounds and ounces. Just compressing the bottom of the bowl, what will be a bowl, so that it helps to avoid any cracking when the work is fired. As often as possible I set up the rim so that there's <coughs> it rim is compressed and centered. This helps to avoid any sort of extraneous movement in the piece as I throw. It also brings it back in the centrifugal force of throwing the wheel tends to move the rim outwards and if you're not careful you lose control started to grab slightly. Porcelain is quite a, a thirsty clay. Um, so it goes from throwable to a puddle quite quickly.
I normally aim for a wall thickness of about two to three mil, depending on um, the, the form that I'm sawing. Slowly, slowly stretching the clay out to form the final piece. Whilst well, keeping control of that rim. Which I think I've just lost again. So at this point, it's about as far as I can throw it through it. So now it's a question of stretching the piece using a wide selection of different wooden ribs. It's about finding the one with the appropriate curve to the piece that I'm throwing. The curve fits on the inside and I can very carefully remove excess slip, hopefully without destroying the piece. Because of the way I throw, I tend to be throwing on the very edge of possibilities of the clay. I can't go any finer, not in the way I throw, without the piece just collapsing in my hand. Now this at the moment looks like it's slightly off-centre but that's something that will be rectified when the clay is set up slightly. Not a brilliant piece, but when it's set up a little and dried up probably overnight, um, I will be able to recenter the, the piece and continue to stretch it and also remove any finger marks, blemishes of my throwing. You might, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on film, but it's a touch on one side and the whole piece wobbles. So really any further touching working on my part is just going to push it over the edge. So um, I hope this works and see you in the next video. Thank you.